Hello everyone, it's about that time we get rid of the wall and get a new wall and uh, let you guys get previews of what we're opening. So let's start, let's start today with NBA Jam Session 94.95. So very interesting set. I mean, you got Game Breaker, Slam Dunk Heroes, um, different variations. And really, the Slam Dunk Heroes is probably the, we will say, the hardest hit out of the box. And this was another box that I got when I uh, bought a collection. And this thing is, like, sealed tight, too. I mean, this thing feels like it's been packed pretty well. Now, this is a lot of packs. And so... We will give a little preview of the first couple, but this is probably why you'll see on like eBay and stuff why they people are selling these like by the pack. I mean, he opened this giant box. Look at the amount of packs in here. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So that should make it pretty fun. So well, let's get going. So there's gonna be 12 cards. There's always going to be an insert. Obviously, the 1 in 37 packs, like I said, is the slam, or 136, 37 slam dunk heroes. So, we give a little preview of the cards. Sean Bradley. I mean, and there, I really have to say, I, Jam, section, Jam Session was always a cool looking card. Obviously, as younger, to be able to store these and have like the top loaders and stuff. Um, not so feasible. Doug West. And then I didn't even grab... Oh, we already got the checklist. Now, why would you make the chest checklist so nice and shiny and bright <laughs> compared to the rest of the cards? So we have an insert in the back here. I mean, they're sticking a little bit, but... Go Cage... Muggsy Bogues. And we have Slam Dunk Heroes, one out of 36 packs already. Chris Weber. Well, I'd say that's pretty cool. We got the uh, technically the rarest insert in the first pack. Granted, there is a crap ton of packs in this box. We're going to throw that one up right there. All right, now as I go through the packs, I will go through the cards a lot quicker. I might have to bend them a little bit to get them not sticking, but Patrick Ewing. There we go. Green, Dikembe Matumbo. I'll put what I would consider the all stars Grand Hill. So that's got to be 940. That's got to be his rookie. Craig Halo, Steve Kerr, Christy David Robinson. The game breaker. And Elton. I do like the insert, of course. What I will probably do is put one. Of that, and I will throw up a rookie. I mean, there's really not too much for rookies in this group, and unfortunately, not Jordan either. These will probably just have to bend each pack, but this will still be this will still be a fun one. Chris Mullen, Hornacek. Dominique Wilkins. Such a different look for him. Augman, King, Jason Kidd. That would be your other rookie with uh, nothing on the jersey. And then we have our flashing star, Isaiah Ryder. So that is officially, unless we get some more inserts, really the cards that you'd be looking for. Now this one kind of has a little more of a dinged up corner up here. I know these in a PSA 10 would probably be a little bit more value because they're probably very hard to find in a PSA 10. 
especially with the way they pack them in the boxes anyways. Like I said, I don't mind because I'm not sending them in to grade them anyways. Isaiah Ryder, Spud Webb, another checklist, Gary Payton. I don't want to take too long for you guys. John Williams, Robert Parrish, Eric Montrose, Charles Smith. Jamal Mashburn, second year stars. I'll put that with the insert pile. You know, it's funny when you go and you think, oh, 36 packs, but it's crazy because the packs are so dang big, size-wise. Byron Scott, Mark Price, Larry Johnson, Rick Fox, Charles Oakley, Chuck Person, Jalen Rose, Scott, Mark Price, and Flashing Star, Screwwell. And again, I'm only bending them a little bit because of the little bit of cracking. At least with that, we're not seeing any, really any damage to the cards sticking, Horace Grant. Carl Malone. Trick Ewing. Nate McMillan. So I'm not sure. I'm sure. I mean, some of you guys are watching, probably collected some of these, but. And for most of us collecting these tall cards, like I said, was, I mean, we would, I know for me, I ended up putting them in, you know, your, uh, your binder, but then they still stuck out of the top. So I remember even the ones that we would have, I mean, sooner or later would get, you know, end up bend up or dinged in the corners because, you know, as kids, we weren't getting the Sean Kemp. That left shrimp. Second year stars. Another insert. So there is an insert per pack. Andy Manning. Stork. Mark West. Jamal Mashburn. So... Van Axel, Isaiah Ryder, and Anthony, Flashing Star. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing, though, because once you see the one card, you know, with the dinged corner, usually the rest will be, because it's however that box was hit. David Johnson, he had to have been one of the strongest Probably right, most ripped basketball players back then. That was the one thing I always remembered about him is he was he was one of the stronger guys. Now it's a little more more normal to see these guys because they're lifting weights. Jamal Mashburn again. So I think what Jamal would he be the only? I mean the other semi rookie out of those. I'm trying to think of who else would be. The younger players, I mean, Van Exel was younger, but I think these two are really the only two. I mean, really the, the, the rookies out of this. I mean, obviously there's a lot more rookies, but. Charles Barkley, I'll throw that one over there, even though I haven't been separating them all. It was funny after watching that Jordan one too, you see these guys like Dumar, some of these guys, and just from what you saw on that. There's my Timberwolf, Isaiah Ryder. You can see the East Bay Funk Dunk. Harry Mills, Richardson, Scotty Pippen, Peeler. <laughs> Quite the photo there. Smith. And our insert, Robert Ori. Horace Grant. Carl Malone. Robert Parrish. And another Penny. 
Like I said, we're going to get this wall kind of, this wall ripped finally. I don't know why I kind of got away from just doing that because we got so much good product. There's a great one. That's a great insert. I mean, the Game Breakers are one out of four packs, but uh, Shaq would have to be one of my favorite players out of there. So the big guy we all know and loved. Get that so the reflection's not killing everybody. And that one I think is in pretty good condition too. James Worthy. I see a checklist, Sean Bradley. Doug West Williams. Checklist. Pretty easy to spot that one now. Second year. Ben Baker. We need to see. You know, another slam dunk here would be pretty cool. Trell. Again, Lonzo of morning. Funny thing is, I'm gonna have this giant stack of tall cards. I have to have these stored by themselves. Probably be able to complete the set at this rate, but I don't think the oops, I don't think the complete set is. Super valuable. It's always like with this one. I know it's the inserts where you get a little more unless you get like I said the PSA tens. These are the types of boxes you know I enjoy owning because you just got to kind of enjoy the cards more than the value. That's for sure. Jamal Mashburn. <laughs> Next one we saw those two back to back and one of the other ones too. And we got the Pippin in that insert. Again, I like that Pippin. I like the look of that insert, but the, the Slam Dunk Heroes is probably the coolest looking insert out of them, of course. Nowadays, you couldn't tell what Reggie Miller, so we're going to have a lot of good cards out of here. Those are dinged up a little bit. Nowadays, you get some of the cards that are just, they look like inserts in all the base cards, so I, I don't know. I always thought that that wasn't as cool when you're opening cards and every card in there looks just crazy, flashy, shiny. I mean, what they had back then, they had like the Topps Finest. So there were certain brands that made that were clear metal. But now it just seems like they're they're trying to make them shiny and look like that in all the packs, which, again, every, every age of collectors is different. James Worthy in that second year. Boy, those are sticking way more than the rest were. I felt like it anyway. Kenny Smith, Terry Mills, Pooh, Scotty Pippen, Peeler, Smith. There's that cool photo that some of the cards are pretty easy to remember as we go. Reggie Miller, Flashing Stars. Another cool one. Bill Cartwright, card hiding behind there. Isaiah Ryder. So I think now we're starting to get a lot more of these repeat cards. Pippin. So we already saw that one. I do like the raised texture of this one. You can kind of see it in the reflection. So those cards, I'll probably end up getting the sleeves and top loaders for. Like I said, I just, I don't send a lot into grade because even if it grades right, it's not like I need to... I don't want to make the extra 30 bucks. I'm not trying to grade and sell, unless it's like a big PC card. But even then, I, you know, as long as you have a good, good top loader or one touch or however you want to store them. I don't have a big obsession with sending cards in. I've sent in, I've sent in, you know, a couple hundred over the last five years. That's a great photo. But it's really if there's going to be some value in it, long term wise. And then of course, um, most of the time it's because I want to keep them too. 
Um, a lot of the vintage, I mean, I have a bunch more vintage that I almost got to send in just because I like those. And I've actually see, seen some knockoffs as I've been to some auctions and stuff. Dominique. So when I'm starting to see some of these cards, older cards even from the 60s or different eras out that uh, almost looks like there's there's some more fakes out there, even of some of the cards you wouldn't think of. I mean, they're still big, they're big players like some mantles and maze, but wherever there's value, there's somebody out there trying to take advantage, of course. And I know with the auctions, I've learned you got to watch for just as much because I don't think they're always looking the most into all that, too. So, Ricky Smith, Harper. All right. I mean, technically, the Slam Dunk Heroes with the odds should have been about one per box, I guess, technically, but... I don't know if they measured them back then and really did it that way. Car rate, Isaiah Ryder. But it's kind of cool. We're kind of getting all the, the big players in this insert. That's I do kind of like that. Eddie Jones. Yeah, we. I mean, really, we haven't seen a double of our two main rookies, Hill and Kidd. We've seen a bunch of the Isaiah Ryder. Reggie. Scott Mark Price. We already kind of see that insert at the end. He's not someone we collect, but we'll put him in the insert. Yeah, a problem like this, by the time you get done, you don't need many to complete a set. I mean, you almost can probably could, I probably could do the complete set with the insert set pretty. And Mitch Richmond. Few packs to go. Well, thanks for jumping in. I mean, this, this is a lot different than some of the, other, the other, other product. I mean, this is one of the older boxes that I've opened. Our price, I already, we already can see that back insert of Lone and then another Shack. Don't knock Shaq over. Say King. Jace. You know, I might have. I've been going pretty fast. I might have missed one of the other kids earlier. Sean Kemp. Chris. Green Matumbo, Grant Hills. We did get one more of each of them. Steve Kerr, Isaiah Ryder. Jalen Rose, and again, you can kind of tell the rookies without the uh, without the logos. Christian Leitner, and all right last pack unless we get a miracle slam dunk heroes it kind of was you know it was expected we got the main rookies at least um we got some of the cool inserts obviously we can see this isn't going to be slam dunk heroes another grant hill rookie and i'll be going back through these anyways alonzo morning so yeah this is kind of like your cool insert but yeah those are about one out of four packs obviously you can see we got a ton here, you know, you have your Shaq, some Reg Reggie Miller, Barclays, you know, the two rookies out of the set that, you know, essentially, I guess you could say you collect. There's some other ones. Obviously, we saw at the end there, too, but those are the two bigger ones. And then, yeah, this is really the, the hardest insert pull. Um, Simon and Heroes. They're pretty happy. Great condition. Kind of a fun card. Chris Weber. We'll take it. So there it is. There is your 94-95 jam session of 36 packs.